Israel has been living with this contradiction all its life. Israel mm-hmm. violates the UN resolutions since its very existence. Israel mm-hmm. violates uh, the all the possible rules of international humanitarian law that are listed in the Geneva Conventions and in the Human uh, Hague Conventions and Regulations. So the problem is not uh, whether it's possible, it's how it's possible. How it's possible that a country, that a, uh, as member states of the United Nations is granted it's this level of thick and protracted impunity. This is puzzling. It was indecent that member states um, uh, who have been talking about the two-state solution for 30 years have not recognized Palestine. This this was this showed the measure of hypocrisy. So I think that in this respect, it's 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 so it's a commendable step forward. However, it will have zero impact if Israel is not receiving sanctions and other concrete measures that will force it to stop its assault on the Palestinians in Gaza and beyond.